guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a wash and go using the curls blueberry bliss line curls reached out to me and they ended up sending me their entire line of products well their entire line of the curls blueberry bliss products so i have their reparative hair wash reparative hair wash i have the reparative leave-in conditioner, the curl control jelly, the twist and shout cream, their scalp treatment, and their curl control paste. They did not send me their mask, so I had to deep condition with one of my own masks, so I used the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Mask. But just to show you guys, oh, you guys can't even really see, but I used about down to here of the hair wash and I really did like this. It lathered up nicely and gave my hair a good cleanse but without it feeling super stripped. So I would continue to use this as my shampoo and it's also sulfate free. So this is my hair without any product in it after deep conditioning. And I'm going to separate my hair into four sections to apply the leave-in i actually had one of these in my stash already so i'm just gonna finish up the one that i had before i use the brand new one and i forgot how much i actually really like this leave-in conditioner Trying to make sure I use all of my old one first. And I actually had a brand new one that I hadn't used either. So I have more than enough. So you guys know how I like to apply my products. I like to do one layer at a time. So I do the leave-in first all throughout my hair. And then I apply the gel. So I'm not going to use the twist and shout cream along with this because... I think I've used the twist and shout cream before. I didn't film it, but I used it before and it was just a bit too heavy. And I really like just using a leave-in or like a light butter or light moisturizer on top underneath my gels. But the curls gel, I feel like it's gonna be really moisturizing so I won't even need the twist and shout cream. You see how it's just gliding right through my fingers? Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so the leave-in conditioner is all throughout my hair. My hair feels so moisturized and so good. Now I'm gonna use the Curl Control Jelly. This right here, I can't remember if I've used this in a wash and go before. I don't know, I think I've tried to and it didn't work, but my hair wasn't at this length at the time. It was still kind of short. So the shrinkage was real. So this says got frizz, need curl definition and holds, formulated with certified organic blueberry extract, argon oil, I love products with argon oil, and aloe leaf juice, and, hydro and hydrogenated castor oil. This hardworking styling jelly is your go-to product for long lasting shiny curls. I'm gonna mist it just a little bit, not too much. How much I'm gonna use, I guess that much let's see what the consistency is giving it feels like a gel i was kind of scared that it wasn't going to clump my curls together but let's see okay it kind of reminds me of camille rose naturals curl maker yeah, it kind of reminds me of Camille Rose 
Naturals Curl Maker. Okay, I think this will give good definition. I'm curious to see how it works on other sections of my hair because this is like the hardest section for me to define and defrizz. I think you really have to make sure you smooth it through. It's providing a lot of shine. I will say that. And I like when products foam up in my hair because I feel like they're gonna give me hold. Okay, you guys, so the curl control jelly is all throughout my hair. Um, my hair has a lot of shine and it looks really defined, which is nice. Um, I don't know if it's gonna hold though, cause my hair right here in this back section looks puffy and it's not as heavy as the pearly braid out glaze is and my hair feels super super lightweight so we'll see how this dries i'm gonna let this air dry throughout the day and then i will come back and show you guys what my hair is looking like before i stretch it out but um i will say that i love the way how my hair feels my hair feels really really soft and it looks healthy and bouncy which is what i absolutely love um only thing is i feel like i've used like a third of this curl jelly i don't know if you guys can see but it's like all the way down here and you only get eight ounces so you could probably get like one two three maybe three and a half wash and goes <laughs> out of one bottle. Leave-in conditioner is just torch. Like, it is fire. 10 out of 10, would recommend. I don't need to wait in order to let you guys know if I really love this. I'm gonna let my hair air dry and I'll come back to show you guys what my hair is given. Already though, in the back, like, it looks puffy. Right in here. Everywhere else, it doesn't look like that. But, whatever, we'll see. Okay, you guys, so before I close out this video, I just wanted to come and touch base and give a few closing points because I never really came back to like say how I felt about the curls products. But um, if you're wondering, this is not the same wash and go. This is not the wash and go that I did with the curls products. This is a different wash and go that I have coming in the works, okay? And I was using the main choice products, but I'm not gonna say which one. So. We are gonna talk about the curls products. I'm gonna talk about each one. I'm gonna talk about each product one by one, starting with each one that I used in order. So first one 
is the reparative hair wash i enjoyed this product surprisingly like i'm gonna use this again when i wash my hair but i really like this reparative hair wash i am not quite sure on the price point but i think it's pretty good if you're looking for like a clarifying well it says it's rich and creamy sulfate free cleanser I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this a lot. I don't have any complaints about this. I do feel that you need to use a conditioner with this. And I can't think of the, I feel like I use the Garnier conditioner that I have with this one. But yeah, I like this a lot and it smells good. Ooh, it smells like blueberry. Honestly, I love the scent throughout this whole line. It smells like blue candy. Yeah, I really like it a lot. It reminds me of my childhood like eating any type of blue candy, like the blue Jolly Rancher. Ooh, yeah, the blue Jolly Rancher or blue Icy. Next, Parative Leave-In Conditioner. I freaking stand this leave-in. I love this leave-in. I've used it with other wash and goes. I used it before they even sent this to me. That's how I got the products because I actually was just talking about them like on my Instagram and then, yeah. So I was already a fan of this before. Um, I had like used it a while back there. I think I want to say that there's a review on this on my channel already. <sighs> this is like one of my top three favorite leave-ins right now. Top three favorite, maybe top five. Top three or top five, I don't know, but it's up there. So that, my least favorite product out of everything has to be the curl control jelly it didn't give me a bad wash and go it's just this is not enough the consistency is not enough for me it's like it's almost there it just needs to be a little bit heavier because i find myself piling this on which is why i feel like i got flakes because either i didn't use enough water which i don't even think that's the case because i feel like i used tons of water in my hair when i was using this freaking product and on some sections like it didn't really define my hair as much like right now my hair has frizz right but this is also like third day hair so my hair had like this frizzy section literally on day one so i was just kind of like eh what? but it it worked well in like other sections of my hair it didn't give me a bad wash and go like this was not a bad wash and go at all i feel like if you have more of a smoother texture and your hair is not like super frizzy and poofy like mine if you have maybe finer hair the curl control jelly would probably work fine for you but me i need something that's a little bit more heavy a little bit more thick on my hair and that's just that like i loved the way how my hair looked like after a while after i started playing with it like in my get ready with me video you guys saw that i was feeling my hair i was feeling it i just don't think it's my favorite this that's another thing i got more shrinkage with this one noticeably more shrinkage with this one but i didn't hate it i just had more shrinkage the blueberry and mint tea scalp treatment now at first when i smelt this i was like "Ooh!" i was taken aback because it's it's almost kind of medicinal and like aromatherapy kind of like almost like menthol and it's because of the mint it's because of the mint that's in it that makes it kind of like invigorating and after a while i kind of liked it and oh my gosh this feels so good on my scalp <gasps> I love when stuff just like has mint or tea tree in it because it just makes my scalp tingle and it feels like I have like a whoosh of like cool air on my scalp. I freaking love it. I'm actually going to put some in my hair right now. I just want to feel that in my scalp. Hold on. Cooling sensation. <laughs> oh my gosh. Last product was the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. She's cute. She's real cute. Like, I used to love this paste, the original one, the passion fruit one. That was back, like, you know, when edge controls was just becoming a thing. It was real cute. I would use that if you're getting like box braids or something like that, any type of protective style with braids. It's like a moisturizing edge control. However, 
it does not withstand for a long period of time it kind of it softens the hair like right now i have my um my edge booster in my hair right now and it, my edges are going to stay like this however when you use the curl control paste it's like it moisturizes your hair so it kind of ends up lifting a little bit and it doesn't really stay in place so a lot of people love it it's not bad i feel like if you don't really have too much of like a high standard for your edge controls then try using this i don't it's not bad it's moisturizing it just does not hold as long as freaking style factor does most favorite out of the entire line is the reparative leave-in they did that with this one really i do have the twist and shout cream but i have to put some good use to it i have to actually do like a twist out or something with it i'm gonna use this product to style one day i'm gonna experiment with it and we're gonna see what happens because I thank you guys so much for watching this video Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what you thought of this wash and go. Again, this the wash this wash and go from this video is the same wash and go that is in my get ready with me upload, the previous upload before this. So, yes. If you wanted to see like how I stretched out my hair and all that, go check out that get ready with me it that's all i got to say thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you all enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you liked it comment down below let me know what you thought about my curls wash and go and let me know if you've tried their products before comment down below what products that you guys snagged for black friday i'm just curious thank you guys so much i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next video